Hello, my name is Jean Nichols. I'm at Quilters Headquarters in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and today I'm going to show you how to put binding on your quilt. I've come up with a couple of tips and a new trick, and it's going to go quick and easy. You don't need very many tools. Here's all you need. You need your binding strips that you've sewn together. I cut mine at two and a quarter because I want them to be a fuller binding. You're going to need a couple of pins. I have a bi-level foot that goes with my Foff machine a pencil, and a scissors. And I have a piece of tape on my sewing machine. And this tape is lined up with my needle. The edge of the tape is in, straight in line with my needle. So you have your binding strips. <clears throat> You're going to sew from this corner to this corner. Put your needle down. And then you're going to sew following this corner. Keep that in line with your tape. Or you can draw a line on it. But I just follow that right up there like that. Then you'll trim this up. I guess you can go over and use your rotary cutter if you'd like, but I just eyeball my quarter inch seam. I open this up, give it a little finger press, finger press it open, and you're ready to go to put it on your quilt. Now I start, I leave, I started my quilt already. I leave it an 8 or 10 inch strip where I started. I start on a side and I try to avoid getting a seam on a corner. So I've put my binding all the way around the quilt and I want to show you how I do the corner. To give you a nice mitered corner. I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance. Backstitch just a little bit. And I'm going to go to the corner. And I'm going to stop a quarter inch before I get to the end. So I have my edges all lined up. I have a mark on my foot that's a quarter inch away from the needle. So I'll stop with that line on the edge of my quilt. And then I'll just give it a little turn. And I'm going to sew right off the edge here on the corner. And then we'll turn the corner. Keeping your binding folded in half, fold it up, so it looks like that. You've got this line in a straight line with the edge of your quilt. Fold that back down, keep your edges together, your fold is at the top in a straight line with the edge of your quilt, and then we'll go down this side. So I've got a quarter inch seam allowance. My binding's folded in half. My edges are lined up. Don't pull this real tight. You want to just kind of just let it lay on there. Otherwise the binding gets too tight. So keep your eye on your tail down here. I'm going to sew down a little bit farther. Okay, now, here's my trick. Okay, set it on the table. You're going to need to cut these tails off. Give yourself a cut. And you're going to lay this right on here. That's the width that you've got your binding. Lay this piece on here, like this. Grab your pencil, draw a line there, and trim this piece here, right on that pencil line. Move that away. Take your other piece. Make sure this is all laying nice and smooth and flat. Line that up with the other side there. Draw another line. Cut it on that line. Move all this away. Lay those down, make sure they're all nice and smooth here. Do right sides together now. Bring them up so you know that they're right sides together. Bring this one up here, give it just a slight turn, 
You can line those up like that. Grab your pins. Put a pin in here. Make this nice and smooth on the other side. Put another pin in this side. So it looks like that. Bring this over to your machine. Get it started in this corner. And now you got your eye on your tape. So you got it started up in this corner. You got your tape on your machine. You get that other corner down there right in line with your tape. Oops, slipped out there. So you got that started. Now we'll bring this corner down to here. Keep your eye on this corner here along your tape. And we'll cut that. Give that a quarter inch seam allowance. Bring it back to your table. Look at that, how nice and flat that is. We're going to finger press this open. Okay, so you just finger press that open. Fold this back down. Lay that out nice and smooth, and you can finish sewing it. Quarter inch seam allowance. your edges lined up. I'm using white thread to show you so you can see my stitches. Normally I would use thread about the color of the binding that I'm sewing on or what, whatever color I quilted, quilt with. Get down here. Your, there you go. Got your binding sewed on. No fancy special tools. It's nice and smooth. And now I want to show you how to bring it around to the front and how we use our bi-level foot. So the bi-level foot has a groove underneath it. And I'll follow the edge of my binding with that groove. So these just snap on. And you turn your quilt over. And I want to show you how I do a corner, so I'll start up here. So I just, if you want to press this on the on your ironing board, you can. I just finger press it. Bring it around the front. Put my foot down. I got the groove right next to the, on the foot here, I got the groove on next to my binding. Bring this down. I'm finger pressing a little bit underneath here. I'm going to move my needle over. My goal is to kind of stitch right next to this line, your seam line that you just put on. So I'll move my needle over just a little bit, I'm almost to the edge, and I'll start sewing here. And I'll just keep finger pressing it. Some people use pins in there. Some use those little red clips. You can do that too. I want to bring the bottom up first and then bring the side over. That way you don't hit this and flip that up when you get to it. So bring the bottom up first, bring your side over, and just continue sewing down. I got one stitch. I'm going to go one stitch into the corner here. And leave your needle down, turn, finger press that again, keep your groove next to your binding here, and continue on. You got your corner sewed down, and it looks like that on the other side. And just go all the way around your quilt. And pretty soon you'll have your binding on in no time. I want to thank you for watching our video. 
And if you have any questions, call Quilter's headquarters in Sioux Falls.